Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to Math Mode. Really interesting problem today, we need to simplify this expression, we have square root of 53 minus 10 square root of 6. And on the first side this kind of impossible, because we have like, this is not even number, we have this 10 square root of 6, but what we can do with this, we have the main square root, which give us a little bit difficulties right here, but I want to show you a really good approach right now. So take a look closely, this 53 cannot be divided by 2, by 3, so we need to work with this 10 square root of 6. So this 10 square root of 6, let's write it this 10 as 2 times 5. And this square root of 6, let's write as square root of 2 times square root of 3. So let's write it in this way. If you multiply all of this, we'll have this in the beginning, so nothing changed for us. But right now let's group right here. So we have 2, I want to leave this 2 right here, and let's group, we will have 2, and right here I group this 5 square root of 2, group in parentheses, and square root of 3, I group, group this as well. So we have this, this expression, this is the same as, as right here, so nothing changed for us. But right now I want to show you a really interesting trick and really interesting moment, maybe the main moment in this problem. Because if we rate this 5 square root of 2 if we squared it, so 5 square root of 2 if we squared it, we will have what? We will have 5 square times square root of 2 square. Yeah, so as a result, 25 times 2, we will have 50. So this is our this parenthesis. And let's raise this square root of 3. So square root of 3 if we raise this, we will have, we will have 3. But why I read this to the second power? Because if we look closely to this, right here we will have 3, and right here we will have 50. If we add it, we will have 53. And if we look closely to other in the begin number in the beginning, we will have 53. So this 53, that in the beginning, can be expressed as 5 square root of 2 squared plus square root of 3 squared. So we can write it because right here 50, right here 3, so this is absolutely good substitution for us. So as a result what we will have? We will have a long square root. So instead of this 53 we will have 5 square root of 2 squared plus square root of 3 squared and minus, I use this expression, minus 2 times 2 times 5 square root of 2 and times square root of 3. And I hope you see right now, and of course if you see it, this is a brilliant, because if you see a formula, if you see an identity right here, you are a genius, because right here this is our identity. For example, square root of 3, this is our b, 5 square root of a, this is our a, 5 square root of 2, sorry. And right here we'll have what, b square, and right here a square. And take a look, a square plus b square minus 2ab. This is our identity. So in this parentheses, I want to write this identity. We will have a square minus 2ab and plus b square. This is equal to what? a minus b squared. So all these expression in our square root sign, we can write it as a difference, right here we have a minus b squared. So I write it right here as an answer, so we'll have square root of a minus b squared, a 5 square root of 2, so 5 square root of 2, minus square root of 3, minus square root of 3 squared. And this will be equal to, of course a lot of students know that right here we need to cancel this square and this uh, root sign and write as 5 square root of 2, minus square root of 3. Everyone know it and of course we do this. But every time you need to put to write absolute value right here because we don't know the value, we don't know the sign with this expression. So it can be positive, it can be negative. So let's check the sign of this expression. We have 5 square root of 2 minus square root of 3. What is the sign with this expression? Of course 5 square root of 2 is greater, so 5 square root of 2 is greater than square root of 3. Then this expression had the plus sign, so plus 5 square root of 2 minus square root of 3 right here. And as a result, the final answer will have 5 square root of 2 minus square root of 3. This is our, our final answer. I hope you understand this explanation. If you, if you enjoy it, I hope, I hope you enjoy it because I give you like a really good approach, how can you, how can we solve it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, leave, please leave a like, write any comment, I really appreciate it, it's not hard to you, but it's really important for me and it's really support my channel. Thank you and have a great day.